Turbulence in these things is crazy. Ding! This old dude pulls up with this girl who looked around my age, so I'm assuming she's with her dad or something. I look at her and smile. Nothing crazy. The door closes and bro looks at me, looks at her, back at me, and proceeds to make out with her right in front of me. And that was when it hit me. She must have been pretty close with her dad, but no, nah, this is like a sugar baby, sugar daddy situation. I've never seen something like that in my life. Understandably so. This is the nicest place I've stayed. Any girl would be a Splenda baby if they was doing that at my old apartment. I can't lie. As I said before, the nightlife did not choose me. I just be here for real. For example, up until a couple days ago, I have never been in close, direct proximity to an overtly drunk person. So scene, I'm at a food truck next to the crib with my boy Cheerio. We're waiting in line, but in the distance I can hear, bro, I wasted so so much money yo chill you understand nah nah like you don't understand bro like I was some really dude in the line behind us is in like, distress keep in mind we haven't turned around we're just at the truck waiting for our order i drove all the way from san antonio to see this girl she said meet at the club i text her like i'm here no response bro's having like, a rough night yo no cap i'm eavesdropping crazily i can't lie i'm mad invested in the story at this point then i get into the club and i'm looking for her like i'm pushing through people i'm is he looking for his girl or something I have no clue. Do you think he ever found me? Like, one second, one second. I'm texting, I'm calling, I turn a corner, and then I see her macking with some fucking black. And that's when I got hot. Not because the ignorance, but because he stopped the story. By the way, he said black. I could tell he only stopped because he finally noticed me and Cheerio in front of him. Like at that moment, part of me wished I wasn't fucking black so he could have finished the story. I'm not gonna lie. I look over at Cheerio in the face. That this nigga was making to not laugh, bro. I have never seen a human being's cheeks contort in such a way. Like, I mean, the situation is so goofy. Imagine starting a story, knowing where it ends up, in front of two gorillas in a coop. Like, is this what alcohol does to people? If that's the case, as long as it stays down there and I'm up here, we Gucci.